Good morning, welcome to day three of the Dales Way. So we're just about to leave Ugales camping. Nice little spot there last night. The uh, little bench was helpful there to put bits and bobs on. So today's the day that we actually leave Yorkshire and go into Cumbria. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to, uh, to going over the M6 and getting into Cumbria. But first port of call is Dent. So let's get going and get some miles in. So if you do stay at uh, Ugale's campsite, the campsite is the field that I've just left, which is behind me. But you need to walk up the road slightly and the shower is behind that house there. And it's that house that owns the campsite, so that's where you need to pay as well. Yeah, a little bit of a quirky setup, but it serves a purpose. I was thinking for a moment I have to go across that then, but I don't, I carry on past it. That'll kill that. Off the board. And I don't mean a Cortina. I'm just filming this bit on my phone. I've just seen these four little deer. Just quite happily lunching on grass in the sunshine. Didn't expect to see them. I think one of them's just noticed me. Oh, carried on eating. Lovely. So I was quite happily stood there watching the deers and then I could hear voices and I looked up the path and there was a load of people walking towards me. I looked back at where the deers were, they'd gone. Yeah, quick as a flash, disappeared. So, I can actually see Dent now in the distance, so we're not that far. Could I have done this extra bit last night? No, probably not. It's about another four and a half mile on. So yeah, I'm glad I stayed where I did. Right, let's get to Dent. So we have arrived in Dent. I don't know what that's for. Another little uh, traditional Yorkshire village. Oh, with a pub. The Sun Inn. It's closed though. Right, I think I'm going to find somewhere to stop. Might go over to the church. So I've just uh, found a bench at, uh, at Dent Church. It's going to have a bottle of Lucasade and a cheese butty for breakfast. There's a little store, you actually walk past it. If I can just, it's there. You actually walk past it on the way into Dent. I think there's a cafe here, like a heritage museum that doubles up as a cafe. Um, but I've not come across it yet, so I presume that's on the way out. So I'm going to have uh, 20 minutes here. Re uh, reset my watch, because it, uh, it was set from here. And it's 15 miles. It's a grey rig. But I think we'll get to um, Sedba first. Come off the trail and go to Sedba. But yeah, it's another lovely day. Nice and warm, so our hoodies come off. Yeah, it's going to be another hot day again. <laughs> Can't believe it's September. Right, I'm going to finish this and then we'll get going. So we're just leaving Dent, and over my left shoulder is the cafe, and over my right shoulder is High Lane in Camping, which is where I was going to stay last night. Yeah, you go through Dent, 
there's a cafe on the way out right opposite the campsite but looking on the sign on the door it doesn't open till nine o'clock cheese butter will do We're approximately about five miles outside Dent now. I haven't really done much filming uh, leaving Dent because it was basically farmer's field after farmer's field. So it uh, makes for very easy walking, but obviously not very good viewing. So uh, crossed over a main road. I'm now going up this steep bit. If anyone's doing the Dales Way, and they think it looks flat it's not there are some steep bits so we're in the little village of Weir with an old phone box with the defibrillator in it. Do you know why they've got defibrillators in? Not just to save someone's life, but if they stick a defibrillator in it, it's got power already there. And apparently, BT have to maintain it. So that's why they stick them in phone boxes. They've got power someone to maintain the power just about to walk past this I have no idea what it is let's go and have a look though wildlife of Sagbra school grounds Be a school, surely. I don't know what it is. Don't know. Don't know what that is. It says Sebra School, so we must. We must be close to Sebra. I think you might stop here for a minute actually. Don't look a bad spot. Yeah, let's chill out here for a moment. There's a bit more information about it there. That's how it looked in uh, 2015 before it was restored. It's called the Pepper Pot. It's part of the bigger estate. It does look like a pepper pot. Hmm. Strange looking building. Right, we are actually quite close to Sebra, so uh, I think we're only a few miles away. So I'm going to get there, veer off the Dales Way, um, and I think uh, I'll go and have some lunch in Sebra, and then I think I've got probably just short of 10 miles to go. So yeah, I seem to be making uh, good pace today. No bogs to go through, that's why. Just realised I'm walking across a sports field and I'm actually in the middle of a running track. The path's there and I'm on this running track. Look how straight those lines are. Hey Gary. <laughs> I've just come off the Dales Way and I'm going to head into Sebra like I said. It's about half a mile sort of in the wrong direction. But I'm going to have some lunch here. I need to ring the campsite owner and let her know that I'm coming. And they also need to book a train ticket for tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get a signal. So I'm walking up the main road into Sebra. Come across a big spa shop. So I've not actually made it into Sebra. 
just stopped here. Bottle of Lucas Aid. Got myself a cheeky bacon boy. I rang the campsite owner, told her where I am, what time I'm going to be there roughly. I said about 6 o'clock. Might get there earlier, I don't know. Um, and I bought my train ticket as well for tomorrow. So it looks like I'm going to be doing this in four days if uh, tomorrow goes well. So I'm going to scoff this, make my way back down again, and then pick up the Dales Way, and then we'll get going again. Right, so I'm back on uh, back on the trail. You literally come out that gate there where it says Burke's House, and go to the right into Sebba or left on the Dales Way. So I'm back on the trail. Right, let's get a few more miles in. Probably do another five miles and then stop. That's me watch just telling me I'm back on the trail. Right, let's get going. So I've just hit 14 mile mark. I'm going to stop for a bit and this. This is good a place as any. I'm quite tempted. Take my socks and shoes off. Stick them in there to cool down. Yeah, middle of the afternoon again. Peak heat. So yeah, I'm gonna have 10 or 20 minutes here. And we'll carry on. Oh. Bottle of Lucasade. Stood barefoot in the river. Oh. That is weirdly cool. <sighs> oh, that is heaven on my feet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Simple things in life. That was five minutes of pure heaven oh. until my feet started to get too cold I had to get out but yeah definitely recommend that with or without Lucas so. I'm not in swell bridges or anything look at that Wow, that is cool. Don't like it's used anymore. But yeah, what an amazing bridge. So I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it out, but I can see the M6 motorway. So that means those fells in the distance is Cumbria. Yes. Never feels right when you walk right through the middle of two farmhouses. But that was the official Dales Way path. There was a little gate just past the houses with the logo on it. And there was a sign before the farmhouses but yeah it never feels right you always feel like you're trespassing but that is the official path so the M6 motorway is literally just there I can hear it and I can see it I never thought I'd be pleased to see the M6 motorway <laughs> so we're about to leave Yorkshire and go into Cumbria. So before I leave Yorkshire, I'm gonna have a nice cold can from the person who's left this little honesty box. Put me quid in there. So thank you, whoever's little honesty box that is. So I'm going to drink this and then get over that M6 motorway into Cumbria. 
I literally downed that in about three swigs and it was gone. <laughs> so I think the great honesty box is you obviously can't stop at every single one and put money in. But I suppose you feel obliged to use them because if you don't, people won't put them out. So yeah, it is nice to come across them right by a gate when you're least expecting one. So right, let's get over this bloody motorway. So we are officially leaving Yorkshire. Goodbye Yorkshire. And officially in Cumbria. Woohoo! Hello Cumbria! <laughs> Fantastic. Never thought I'd be this chuffed to be crossing the M6 motorway. It's good to be back in Cumbria. And I can actually see all the mountains. I can make out Great Gable, Green Gable, and a few others. So according to my watch, I'm 1.6 miles away from the campsite. So yeah, it'd be good to get there. It's another 20 plus mile day today. I've got to go across the train track. Train coming past on cue. Got to my fibre to do that. Gets over to the other side and then walk into the village and it's about a quarter of a mile out of the village. So yeah, not got that far now. Glad to get there. So I've arrived at Springwood Camping. It's literally about a quarter of a mile off the Dales Way, just slightly down. So I'm going to knock on the house, which is what the owner said to do, and then she'll show me where I can pitch my tent. So I'm going to do that, get sorted, and then I'll bring you back. So I've spoken to the owner and he showed me to the camping field, £10 for the night. I've got the tent up there's nothing in it, I'm just trying it out, it's a bit wet inside. It feels like I'm in someone's back garden. And there's nobody here, I've got the place to myself. Little decked area there, and the bench on it, put all my stuff on there. He said to me there's a fire pit there if you want to use it. I haven't got any wood, <laughs> so I won't be using it. But yeah, really nice bloke. Really uh, welcoming. And he said that there's a path here at the side that actually follows up to where the Dales Way is. On the way here, I came down a busy main road. So in the morning, I'm going to uh, take that path. And he said you follow it all the way up and it brings you back onto the Dales Way. So I'm just going to let the tent dry out and then I'll put everything in it. Go and have a shower, have something to eat. And I'll see you shortly. So I've had something to eat, I've had a hot shower, the shower was okay, it was a bit quirky, it's in like a plastic box, um, but yeah, it was warm and I've, uh, I've managed to get clean and everything. I'll, I'll show it you in the morning on the, uh, on the way out. So another good day on the trail, another good day with weather, I can't believe uh, how lucky I've been with the weather over the past few days. Another day of glorious sunshine and blue skies. It was a little bit cooler today, which was quite welcoming. Uh, quite like a little bit of a breeze, so it did keep me a little bit cooler today. Having said that though, with the good weather, the trail is very muddy. Um, lots of sections of it, it is quite boggy. You are going through lots and lots of farmers fields, and if there's been cattle, on the uh, on the tracks and the paths and everything, it's uh, yeah, it is a bit it is a bit muddy in that. The trail runners are just full of mud, uh, and obviously I got mud on my legs and stuff like that. So yeah, a hot shower was uh, certainly uh, welcoming. So stats wise today, I have done twenty two point zero three miles. So I was expecting to do about twenty miles today. From Dent, it was 15 to here, but obviously I had five miles to do from U, U Gales campsite. So 
So I was expecting to do around 20, but no, according to my watch, I've done 22.03 miles. So it leaves me 15 miles to do tomorrow into Bowness, and it means that the walk is going to get done in four days. I booked a train ticket for tomorrow night, so I should finish the walk sort of mid afternoon, I would imagine. Just depends on what time I set off in the morning. With it being the last day, I'll uh, probably take my time packing up in the morning, try and get the tent as dry as I can. I've got some porridge and that and a cereal bar, so I might just hang around a bit longer and have a bit more of a breakfast than that with it being the last day. So on that note, I shall see you all tomorrow for day four and the final day of the Dales Way. <laughs>